Okay, wow. I thought I had the camera running and I was talking and explaining what I was doing and I looked over and it was on its little random automatic mode, so I don't know. Um, I don't know if it kicked itself off or if it got any of that, but I'm in the process of doing the glue up. And I've already, of course, done all this stuff on the front end, which is the tricky part. This is, this isn't so tricky over here. We don't remember. Well, maybe that's what I did. Yep. And if I had room. I don't know if that clamp's big enough. For. This doesn't, uh, that's weird. Well, we'll go on to the rope then. We'll start.
looks really good. Very, very happy. Hey folks, it's Dane, Johnny Guitar. Let me let me catch up on the uh, ES335 build. So, um, as you know, I've been working on getting the sides bent, building the molds, uh, building the oh the mess quick, building the uh, the outside the uh, outside body mold there to bend around, and then building the inside body mold to uh, to hold the the sides in place while you're doing all the other good stuff. So. Um, I added these uh, little blocks, it shows them on the plan. Um, so I popped those guys in and, uh, and then the center block here. Now I, I may or may not have gone over this already. So hopefully uh, if I have, it's not too much of a rehash. The um, center block in a stock uh, 50s, late 50s, ES335 would have been maple. And I'm going mahogany because the laminations on a stock uh, late 50s, 335 would have been maple and mahogany and mahogany and maple. So you had a different, uh, you know, makeup. I and mean, this guitar is going to have a solid maple top and back that are carved. So there's no laminations. So in that case, I'm afraid that. We might get a little too much brightness from the, all that maple, and uh, and so I decided to go with the uh, the mahogany center block. It will also have a mahogany neck, which is what was stock. Uh, and then so the center block is in; it's all fit and glued on this end. Uh, that hole was to hold a, a little clamp block down while it was uh, while it was being glued. I have some stills of that. I'll probably insert those uh, in places or they will have been up on Facebook or something. Anyway, so down here at the end, um, I didn't find any info on this. It's from, um, from Gibson or from the plan, but uh, Jason Beam built one of these. He actually used a maple center block, and then he put a mahogany piece on the bottom. I'm doing just the opposite because it's harder. I'm going to use maple cross-grained here or grain lengthways running this way so that the strap button and in this case the Bigsby all these things will have something good and solid like maple uh, long grain to screw into rather than than a mahogany end grain block. Uh, also was doing that also enabled me to um, you know get this piece installed uh, and get a clamp behind it and suck it in there. It, it, I couldn't have fitted this piece to this radius I, I may have been able to do that, but it would have been a little trickier. So now all I have to do is make this piece fit the radius, and then uh, glue it in, and then this this uh, this unit like so will be complete. Then I will run it through the sander, uh, tentatively level everything out, and then do my kerfs. I also don't have my kerf strips made yet, so I've got to do that. I'm going to go around the inside and clean up, uh, you know, tape smudge and uh, you know random tape stuff anyway get everything sanded and cleaned up nicely before I put any curfing in so anyway so you are caught up with the the ES335 I think anyway that's all for now thanks take care